What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on New York Rangers signing Pavel, Pavel Buchnevic. Uh, I meant to do it last week. Someone commented and actually reminded me. Thank you for doing that. Um, I, I talked about it you know, during the season. He's the closest thing the Rangers have to a blue chip prospect right now. Obviously, their farm system is uh, not good. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. I mean, when you're as good as the Rangers have, ha Rangers have been for the length of time they've been you know, so good, you know, the last six, seven years. You know, they're trading away first-round picks every single year. You know, the last time they had a first-round was 2012. They took Brady Shea. He was a great, I think, a very, very good player. Um, you know, I think will be a very, very good NHL player for a long time. And they don't have one again until next year. So, tough to, to really hit them out of the park. And the one I think they did hit out of the park was uh, Buchnevich's, uh 2013 draft classmate. Uh, Anthony Duclair is obviously now playing for the Arizona Coyotes. So, Definitely a, a tough set of circumstances, but I like him. I think he's a good offensive, cre you know, creator. I liked him going into that 2013 draft, and I think he's going to be, again, a, a very good and very productive NHLer. Is he going to be, you know, the be-all, end-all? No, but he, he, I think he'll be a top six forward in the NHL. I think he'll be, you know, a guy that can, you know, you can put on the power play and let him showcase his creativity. Uh, and the other thing with, with him is he, I think he'll make the opening night roster. I think he's a, almost a shoe in because of, you know, the, the offseason change that Rangers are going through uh, or will go through. So I think getting some youth in the lineup is a good thing. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it how it goes from there. Uh, the Rangers fans expecting him to be Artem, Artemi Panarin next year. Um, temper your expectations. Because all due respect to the Rangers forwards, you don't have a Patrick Kane to play him with. So again, I think he'll be productive. I think he'll show he'll show you some excitement. Um, and again, he's a guy I've really enjoyed watching play in the KHL and internationally for for Russia. Um, but you know, I think he's going to be a good player, but not like oh my god, like this guy's going to change everything. So you know, and I think he's a cl again the closest thing Rangers have to a blue chip prospect in the organization right now. So we'll see how it all shakes up. I am excited to see how he makes the adjustment to North American hockey and uh, how Elaine Vigneau uses his talented 21-year-old rookie next season. Anyway, and that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes through the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.